Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a special treat for you. We'll be diving into a question and answer session where we will explore the heartwarming poem, A Child's Dream and uh, answer some interviewing question about it. So let's get started. Now the first question, describe the dog as pictured by the poet. So our first question is about the dog in the poem. So describe the dog. The answer would be, the dog in the poem is described as a small, affectionate and furry companion. It has a fresh black nose and a tail held proudly. The poet also mentions the dog's pleasant scent and its pink belly is compared to the inside of a sea cell. The dog is portrayed as a beloved and cherished pet. So moving on to the next question and his tail he held bravely like a banner in a fight. So the figure of speech used in the last six words is a simile. Give other examples of similes from the second and third stanza. So this is our next question. So first of all let me discuss what simile is. So a simile is a way to compare two different things to explain or emphasize something. It uses the words like or as to show how one thing is similar to another. So similes make our descriptions more vivid and easier to understand. However, there are no other similes in the second and third stanzas of the poem. You can comment down below and correct me if I am wrong. Now let's talk about why the pathways and hedges are described as horrible and dumb in the poem. The question is, why were the pathways and the hedges horrible and dumb? So the answer to this question is, the pathways and the hedges are described as horrible and dumb in the poem because despite the child's desperate search for their lost dog, they do not provide any help or information about the dog's whereabouts. They remain silent and unresponsive to the child's distress and plea for help. So which contributes to the child's frustration and hopelessness in their search. Our next question. The song sank low. I ran. I prayed. Can you say why short sentences are used in this line? Of course. So the answer is the short sentences are used in this line to create a sense of urgency and emphasize the child's desperate state. It conveys the rapid and intense actions of the child running and praying as the day is coming to an end. So the sentences helps to highlight the emotional intensity of the moment and the child's urgent need to find their lost dog. So finally, here is our last question. Why are the hour and the place called golden? The answer is the terms golden hour and golden place are used in the poem to symbolize a moment of unexpected and profound happiness and relief. They are described as golden to signify that this moment is precious and almost magical. So that wraps up our question and answer session on a child stream. We hope you enjoyed this exploration. So if you have more questions or if there is another poem you would like us to analyze, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time. Thank you.